Hello and welcome back to Hardware Info. In this video, I will show you the best shortcuts and gestures on Samsung Galaxy Tab S11. Let's begin! And we can start with simply heading into our settings. Then, you want to scroll down a little until you will see a section called Advanced Features. And usually in this settings, we'll see all those cool settings, all those cool gestures, all those cool shortcuts. And I think we can start with the S Pen, since the whole, part, the whole point of this tablet, I believe, is the S Pen itself. So we can start with our command. As you can see, we have this menu style. And by default, you get it whenever you're using your, your pen. For example, if I would start clicking things with my finger now, um, this should, okay, this should disappear. However, the moment I pick up my pen, this appears. We can, of course, move it around and we can click it. And for example, we can enable AI select. So we can select something like this. And then we can try to make a generative edit out of it for whatever reason. I have no idea why would you want that, but sure. And of course, you can, for example, go into uh, screen write, which will basically just do a screenshot and you can now write in screenshot, so um, I can do cool bad Yeah, and I can I can like save it to my gallery uh, But so oh, by the way like ignore the goblins here and we have screenshot So while this is a pretty cool feature and of course you can go into ads and then you can basically get every application on your device as a shortcut here. So that's really, really powerful. I would advise you to go into the settings and get rid of that. So let's go into advanced set features here. Let's go into S Pen. And we want to disable the showing of air command icon, but instead we want to open it whenever we click the pen button. So now if I'm just going to use my device as normal, I can click the button and now this appears. And of course, once again, you can fully customize it. So you don't have this useless AI garbage here, but you can actually have something important like notes or something else. So we can continue with our S Pen because there are still quite a few things. And I believe the most important one is screen of memos, which is very, very powerful. It basically allows you to lock the screen and then draw something and save it as a Samsung note. Very, very cool thing. And I think that's actually all for the features, for the gestures and shortcuts related to the S Pen itself. Okay, I'm going to ditch it and I'm going to just start using my fingers. So then we have side button, it's very typical. By default, we have digital assistant whenever we long press it and many people don't like it. So for example, you probably want to switch it to part of menu. So now whenever we press and hold the power button, we actually see the part of menu like we should, not some random power, not some random AI assistant. And the same thing goes with the double press. By default, we're opening camera, but of course we can switch it to very something very different my best case, my best use case of this feature is probably torch, because I think having a torch that's easily easily accessible is very important. Though maybe not on a tablet, maybe on uh, maybe on a phone itself. We also have multi-window, and multi-window function is it basically allows you to multitask very very easily. So we can, for example, swipe for split screen, and we can see how this looks. So if we have something open, like Play Store, for example and we will do this weird thing. We now have the ability to open like Chrome and you can scroll two things at the same time. Now you may think that this is like very cool and all and I do agree, but there is something much, much better. We can expand our control center from the top right corner. We can do it one more time and we have something called wireless decks. We can click that. And oh, actually it's not what we want to click, wait. We want to click, uh, not the second screen, wait, is it the second screen? No, because this that would require us to have second screen, which is not something what, and it's not something I really have. Let me try to do one more, one more time into wireless decks, or let's go here. Okay, never mind. We want to click this button, so, so, sorry for confusion. 
uh, I kind of forgot how this how this works. We want to go into our apps running in the background, and here we have all our normal apps. And what's really cool is we can click this plus icon, and now we have desktop. And this basically now behaves like, like a desktop on your PC. So if we open application, it's actually opening in this tab that we can fully uh, resize, we can make it full screen, we can make it small screen, or we can just open it as, norm as we would normally. So that's really, really cool in my opinion. So we can also can minimize it once again. And of course you can, for example, I can switch it here and now I can enable my Play Store, or I can enable my gaming hub if I want to. And what's really cool is we can add another desktop and now we can move between desktops. So this one has like all my garbage on it and this one is very, very clean. This basically is, I believe, the ultimate uh, multitasking tool. It's incredibly nice shortcut and it's not even a shortcut, it's just a button on your uh, screen. And But so many people aren't using this and I think it's very, very underrated feature, especially like imagine yourself, for example, researching something. So you have like this YouTube video here, you have essay here and you're just like writing it down. It's very, very underrated feature and I would strongly advise you to start using that because I do think that this is indeed uh, the go-to, uh, the goat, the whatever. But let's leave the multitasking features for now. Let's enter settings. Let's once again get ourselves into advanced features and now let's go into motions and gestures themselves. And as you can see, we only have a couple of things here. First of all, the top roll tab to turn on and top roll tab to turn off screen. It's very self-explanatory. That's literally it. Also, don't mind me having the My Little Pony wallpaper. I have kind of forgot about it. And what was the last thing? Oh, cover screen to mute, which is a pretty cool feature, but I can't, see, I can't show the animation. But basically, whenever someone's calling you, you can just flip your screen and then uh, it will mute the color. And finally, we have palm swipe to capture. We want to swipe the edge of our hand to screen, uh, to take a screenshot. That's tricky, but basically you want to do like something like this. And it took a screenshot. It's very weird to use and you have to get used to it. But once you once you get used to it, uh, you will have the ability to make really nice screenshots with this. So that's all for the motions and gestures. We also technically have like screenshots and screen recordings, but this doesn't really, I don't really count this as a gesture. I only count this as settings to gestures. And yeah, unfortunately there isn't much to it. Unfo like the most, the more important part about this uh, feature is the S Pen. The, this whole device kind of resolves around the S Pen, its existence. Like just look at, look at amounts of things you have here. <laughs> There's plenty of them. And yeah, I do think that's all for this video really. If you know more cool shortcuts and gestures that you, and you want to share them down in the comments below, I would really encourage you to do it because then many more people will also know about the amazing device that I have, which is of course the Galaxy S Tab 11, Tab S11. And yeah, you can share them down in the comments. And if you don't have anything to add and you just enjoyed the video, well, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.